Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. All right, today we're going to look at Marcus Davenport. Been getting a lot of requests on him. Is he a bust? Does he still have potential? Is it too late? You know, what's the deal? We picked up his fifth-year fifth option. Is that going to be his last year? They're going to extend him. I can't answer those questions, but I can watch his film and kind of tell y'all what I do see. All right, we're just going to hop right into it, honestly. Here. <laughs> I'll let you one thing. I'll let you know one thing before we start this. Or we already started this, but you're not you're not gonna block him with a tight end in a run game. Not gonna block him with a wide receiver in a run game. He's still a freak of nature. He hasn't put it all together yet. Still strong, still fast, still athletic as hell. What you're trying to do here, that's that's never gonna work. Watch this slow down. Yeah, this guy, no chance of blocking Marcus Davenport. Just not gonna not gonna work. Boom. He sees it already. Recognized the play from, you know, the get go. And when you get a guy here, he's pushing this guy into that guy. Look at that arm extension right there. You know that's what you love to see. Pushes it all the way to the sideline. I mean, that's basically doesn't get a doesn't get a stat recorded on this play. Doesn't get anything, but I mean he makes the entire play. It's great football right there. Oh, that's a great stunt. That's a great stunt. They run this perfectly. Who that Rankins total? I couldn't tell who the other DM was. I think that's Rankins. Yep. This is beautiful. Rankins is gonna come here. Davenport slow plays it up, wraps around. I mean, it's just a very simple stunt up front. Executed perfectly. Rankins goes here. This guy is lost in the sauce. Don't know what he's doing. Realizes it too late. Davenport's too athletic. You're not going to get back there. It's good football. Picks up a half a sack there. See, this is how, you know, some plays, this is why stats mislead people sometimes. You see the last play I showed you? Davenport made the entire play. Didn't record a stat. This time, he gets a half a sack. And, I mean, honestly, Rankins does off the work here. That's why stats can be misleading, especially with D linemen. Sacks are not the end all be all. It's actually one of the most overrated stats for defensive linemen, in my opinion. I would rather look at quarterback hurries, pressures, things like that. We all look first and ten. Once again, another play made by Davenport in the run game. Guy's too strong, too physical. Let me just look look at this. That's a that's a beast of a man right there. Right here. He sealed this. You can't go outside him. He's too athletic. It's gonna be a hold. This guy, I mean, he has him just stood up perfectly. He has to cut back. Do your job there. It's perfect football. Still tries to get in on the tackle. This was one of his better games. He played 65% of the snaps, which was you know, a high for him. Think of the seat on the season. See, and this is this is where you know he suffers, honestly. Athletic spin moves, but it does nothing for him. His finesse game. Isn't really there. So when he has to use his hands, get off blocks, spin, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> it's just that's what he's lacking. And that's that's what they knew coming in, and that's kind of still a problem now. They knew he was an athlete. They knew he had a bull rush. He's just going to be the strongest man on the field, more than likely. And he's going to always succeed at that 
and he's going to be pretty good at stuffing the run just because he's so strong. But when he comes to these finesse moves, it's just not up to par with, with his athleticism. Solid job by 72 there. All right, I'm going to try something new here. Instead of just going through picking plays I like, dislike, we're going to watch the entire drive. No biases. Just watch the entire thing because that, that gives you a better feel of how a player's playing. This was one of his better games. I'll give him that. So instead of just picking plays from here and there, you know, I'll just let you watch the entire drive with me to kind of go through his entire drive play by play. That's excellent there. Stays at home in cases of play action. Once he, once he recognizes it's not a play action, be athletic enough right here. He's not, he's not supposed to make this play from being here. That's not, a, that's not a normal thing. He has to you know play this. If it's a play action, things like that. Once he recognizes it, the speed to accelerate and get it on that tackle, that's elite stuff. Second and three here. Not too much. One thing you do, <laughs> if a wide receiver wants to block him, you do what that guy did. Just dive at his ankles. Even though he was a non-factor in this play anyway because it's going so far to the right. Check the receiver. He know. He tries to cut him. He knows he can't block that. That's a, that's a big dude. He's not blocking him. All right, 31. They move him to the opposite side. Put Cam Jordan on this side. That looked like a great job from Davenport. I couldn't really tell from the angle, but I think he did exactly what he was supposed to do there. Let's watch. This, this will let me know. All right, we're here. Slow this down. Yeah, motion. All right, boom. Yes. Okay. Davenport right here. He's going to wash down to this A gap, and he does it perfectly. Taking on two guys basically right here. That's gonna clear out Demario. One on one here. Expect him to make that tackle. I don't know who this is. Looks like Gordon Johnson. Overruns it. That's not his responsibility though, so I can't blame him for that. Because he's running with that jet sweep, that motion guy. But all in all. Well, actually, I can't blame Gordon Johnson because he was trying to pass it off to, to Malcolm Jenkins over here. So he can't actually stop in this gap. But what we're here for, Davenport does his job, washes that out the way, one-on-one -on -one here. Have to make that tackle. Third and one. Have to make that tackle. So good job by Davenport. You just expect DeMario to make those tackles, make those plays. Obviously, he was probably our best player, or not probably. He was our best player on defense, him and Hendrickson, this past season. So, I mean, it happens. People miss tackles. But good job by Davenport. Did his job on that play. All you can do is your job. If all 11 guys do their job, you're good. Once again, what did I say earlier? Doesn't get a stat on this play. But stop stop having tight ends block him. Look at this initial punch to this tight end. <laughs> like they're too they're not strong enough. They're not strong enough. Two, three guys came. He's still in the play. Like he's just in the way. He's always in the way. The initial punch, boom, he gets a double team, triple team. Everyone wants a piece of him. But yet somehow, look at this. 
He's fighting through all of that, holding his ground. Boom, they finally get him on the ground. But when they do, it's right at the running back's feet. So this is a, a excellent play from him. Fighting off two, three guys. Being able to stay upright, you know, so the running back doesn't just have a hole there. That's nice. They run a stunt again. The same exact stunt. He got that sack on. Left guard this time. Actually paying attention. My guy right here woke up finally. Nothing there. When a stunt happens, you're not expecting him to. If you don't get there, if it's not open, then he just won't get there because he's already, like, you know, waited a second and a half basically to make his move. Third and seven, an uh, obvious pass for a situation here. Mm. Let me watch this rep again. It's a good get off the ball. It's an obvious pass for us. Look at their splits out here. Third and seven, you know they're passing it. Gets off the ball well. Decent with his arms, but that rip through, couldn't quite rip through. Lyman does a good job. It's not a bad rip, not a good rip. Just, huh. It's just okay. Just okay. Don't really care about their full field goal. But, however, I mean, it's just a drive from Davenport. Like, he does so much that won't show up, show up in the stat sheet. And things like that. Like the, the kid's good, obviously. The talent's there. But everyone wants to see the 14 sack, you know, 15 sack season. Sometimes you can have six or six day sacks on a year and have a great year. You know, it don't, doesn't always show up, show up in a box score. So that drive right there, I think, I didn't even pick that drive because I thought that was a good drive. That was kind of my first time seeing it too. So that drive just goes to show you, probably didn't record a stat on that drive. Maybe got a... Uh, assist tackle on there, but every play he did his job, and I mean that's all you can ask for. Okay, I'll end it. I'll end it on this play. Dennis Allen is a psychopath for this design he he did on Fort Down right here. Leads to an interception, I think, or they called it incomplete. But anyways, look at this design. He has. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys, basically. On the line of scrimmage, nine, if you want to include him. This is confusing. It's like, I don't know what for this offensive line. You have no idea who's coming, who's not coming. You can kind of tell it's man to man, so you're not expecting a corner to come. But, I mean, a corner can still come from this way. He mans him up. You just never know. So it's already confusing. And what do the, the Saints do? Best two pass rushers on the field, Cameron Jordan, Mark Davenport. Drop them in coverage. Look at these guys. They're not even blocking anybody. It's confusing. And it works. I would like to see more of that on third and fourth down because I'm tired of seeing us just stand back there and get a pass interference or whatnot and, you know, extending the drive. But, yeah, check this out. Didn't watch it from this angle yet. This is just, this is craziness, honestly. Very hard. Oh, and they run a stunt up here. I didn't see that at first. Demario Davis comes around, runs a stunt for him. A center and running back trying to, you know, defend a stunt. It's difficult, difficult. Like, he could help, but Cameron Jordan's over here, so he has to stay this, you know, stay over here. Once he realizes Cameron Jordan's not coming, way too late. Look at him looking at Cam Jordan. It's too late. This stunt, crazy to defend. Davenport, out in the open field. I honestly think if he throws this, I mean, Davenport's athletic enough to 
run him down. I think if he catches this and they race to the first down line, I think Davenport beats him there. Have to trust your DN to be crazy athletic to put him in a situation like that, especially on fourth down. But yeah, man, that'll wrap up Marcus Davenport. Uh, people keep asking me, do I think he's a bust? Do I think he's this? Do I think he's that? It's not my not my place to call it. Do I think he's lived up to the two first round price tag? Absolutely not. Uh, absolutely not. I was excited when we got him. We needed the pass rusher. We still need him to be a pass rusher this this upcoming season. Do I think he'll have a good year? I don't know. Maybe I'll see how training camp, you know, kind of unfolds and things like that. But he's had his moments. You know, he has up and ups and downs. He's still a young player, still still a raw player. But this year, hey, it's make or break. I get your last year, fifth year option, got picked up. So like, it's it's make or break for me. It's no more. Oh, he has potential. He has potential. He has potential. At some point, when does that potential start potentialing? That's not even a thing. But you know what I mean, like. You can't have potential. You can't be 28 and be like, oh, Marcus Davenport, he's an athletic freak. He has potential. No. You just are what you are at that point. He was a little banged up earlier in the year. So, like I said, numbers aren't crazy. Don't, But I don't care about numbers when it comes to, you know, defense alignment. Yes, I want you to have sacks. Yes, I want you to blah, blah, blah. But the film, the film will tell you a lot. And uh, obviously, Trey Henderson took his shine this year. Took a lot of his snaps this year. Kind of hurt his development. But... I mean, you're trying to win games. Trey Henderson was balling. Have to play him. Don't care what we spent. Two first-round picks on you. Had to play Trey Henderson this past year. Can't blame the Saints for that. This year, shouldn't be anyone, you know, to take some of his playing time. Uh, Peyton Turner, I don't think, will threaten him. I think he's going to be more of a Cam Jordan replacement, maybe like a backup D-tackle. Who knows what, how they'll use him. But, I mean, that was Marcus Davenport. Like I said, the film don't lie. I think he can get better on his finesse moves, you know. He's agile, so it's there in his hands. His hands has to get better. I mean, things he does great. He bull rushes you. He's strong as hell. He's good against the run. So, I mean, he's a good player. But two first-round picks, we're going to need him to make that jump to be a great player, honestly, because Cam Jordan's on a decline, and someone needs to assume that role. And we spent two first-round picks on him, so it needs to be Marcus Davenport. And thank you all for tuning in once again, man, and I'm out.